would like to begin with this simple question. Why did I choose Formula One as a topic to talk about? Well, this is very simple to answer it. I'm a huge fan of Formula One, but I think there's a lot of people that don't know a thing about it. So my word today is to try these people get it. Well, first of all, Formula One is the top of the top of the motorsports. This is because of its this is because of its popularity and of course the rivalries it has. Formula One is considered a sport, but why? Well, like I said, it has a lot of rivalries and competence. But also it's considered a sport because there's it is considered a sport because you need to be really fit and have a good physical condition to get into an F1 car. There's a lot of people that says that Formula One will the F1 cars just ride in circles, but I don't think that's true. I think for the F1 cars, they, they don't ride in circles. The, the F1 circuits have lots of lots of corners in, in which they consist of high speed corners and tricky corners. And if you play the, for example, the F1 game, any F1 game, you could see that it's very difficult to get into a corner. Now, imagine how the real F1 drivers uh, have to deal with these corners. Well, now I'm going to talk about the tires. There are different types of, there are five different types of tires in which we can say the ones for dry conditions and wet conditions. In dry conditions, we have the soft, medium, and hard compound. And for wet situations, we have the intermediates and the full wet compounds. Um, these tires can be changed along the race. I mean, they can last about two seconds changing the tires. Well, F1 has been evolving since ever. And a quite example of this can be the 2014 change regulations, in which consisted changing um, some aerodynamics of the car. For example, the nose on the back and front wing of the car. These, of course, changed the look of the car very notoriously. And also, we can talk about the change of the engines. In 2013, we had these V12 engines, of course, V12 six cylinders uh, per right and left thing, I guess. Um, but in 2014, we had these V6 turbocharged engines, hybrid turbocharged engines, that of course that changed the performance of the car and of course the, this iconic sound that the F1 cars had in the early 2000s. Also, F F1, Formula 1 is very secure these days, but for example, back in the old days, for in an example, 1994, in the San Marino Grand Prix, um, Ayrton Senna, the, the legend of Formula 1, had this crash in 1984, I repeat, where he crashed out his Williams out, out of turn 14, I think, and he sadly passed away. So that's why he's considered a legend. But if, what if that happened these days? An example of this can be in 2016, Fernando Alonso flew away through his car and he got with no injuries. And yeah, that's why F1 is very secure now. So if we ask that if F1 is secure, that the early 2000s, well, yeah, because there are 
less accidents and less drivers killed in the races.